What's up, my people? Bless up on yourself and welcome back to another live stream. So, as usual, you know, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So, as you're coming, please may I ask just like up the live. You know what I mean? As you're coming, just like up the live stream. The likes them help. Yeah, the likes them help. So, just like up the live stream. And if you're not already a subscriber, please and thanks, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, just click the top bell icon after you subscribe. So you can get notified when anything new is on the channel. Yeah, so as you come in, just like up the live. Yeah. So as me say, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. Right? So me I gonna start off it with the one here. Remember the man where them say Rob keep rich. Go in I'm house, go teeth, I think, money and jewelry. So, them sentencing people. And these are the type of sentence we get. Right? Man who rob entertain a keep rich home given suspended sentence. Kemar Jones, the man who plead guilty to stealing items from entertainer Marlon Kiprich Plunkett's home has been sentenced to six months imprisonment suspended for two years so what that mean people you might go get that if maybe if you send him go prison he would have do six months but them give him a suspended sentence so that means he might go die road right but if him get himself in a trouble with the law he might go serve i think that two years there or six months one out of two seeing all right june's 22 who had pleaded guilty to housebreaking and larceny was sentenced on friday in the saint catherine parish court the court was told that about 10.45 a.m. on March 11, the entertainer's home in Portmore St. Catherine was broken into by Jones. I think, I think if him, if in the space of the two years, if him T or do anything out of the land, the police, them all land back upon him, he might go do the six months, not the two years. Six months he might go do. See? So even for the last day left, for the two years suspended sentence up and him go commit a crime he might forgot to do the six months so yeah all right a rolex watch valued at fifteen thousand us dollars a gold chain valued at twelve thousand us dollars and a, and and sunglasses valued at 450 us dollars along with us fifteen thousand dollars cash and Kanye and three hundred dollars cash were stolen. Jones was subsequently held after some of the stolen items were recovered in downtown Kingston. He was presented, uh, represented by attorney at law Kamisha Harrison. So, I think Kiprich did get back some of the things. Them, I think he get back the jewelry them but him never get back the cash you see me i say so at the cctv pick him up you know because it was a residential area and he must pass through a security post so the cameras them in at the area from people house and also at the security post at that pick him up and people um identify him and them catch him. You see me? So him get suspended sentence, people. You know what I mean? So 
moving on people to the next thing saint mary man i would have engaged police in a s-h-o-o-t-o-u-t if i had more can that we were man saying no people to the police them you know a saint mary man was arrested and charged with machine related offense is alleged to have told one of the arresting officers that he had planned to engage him in a car note but didn't do so because he didn't have enough can. The shocking statement was made by 24-year-old Neil Walters, a construction worker of Charleston in St. Mary. Walters was arrested during a spot check on the Salt March Main Road in Falmouth, Chilani, late last month. <coughs> As we hear in the report from the Mahiri, Mahiri Stewart, from Mahiri Stewart, Walters even bragged to the arresting officers that he would get bail soon and he be back on the road in no time. What? On Monday, August 28th this year, Neil Walters was the passenger in a Toyota Isis motor car being operated as a taxi when the vehicle was ordered to stop by the police on the highway. See? So the police end up on patrol duties and, you know what I mean, randomly stop a vehicle because maybe it looks suspicious. The police say they observe Walters tucking an object in his waistband before exiting the vehicle walter was searched and a pint 45 pistol with three rounds of ammunition was taken from his waistband our sources say after being arrested walters went off on a rant telling the police in no uncertain terms that he is a bad man it's understood he told one of the arresting officers that after being pulled over, he thought of drawing his machine and challenging, challenging the policemen who approached the motor car. He said he didn't follow through with his thought because of how tactical the policemen approached the vehicle. He is also understood to have said that he suppressed the urge to lego some can at the policeman when he recalled that he only had three can in a machine. Walter's rant didn't stop there. He told the arresting officers that the next time he encounters them on the road, he will not hesitate to can. Our sources say Walter's told the arresting officers that will soon um that he will soon be out on the road and bail is alleged to have said that he will continue to m-u-r-d-e-r people because he's a m-u-r-d-e-r e-r seen so him say him will continue for dash with people because of that him do walters is understood to have said he has zero fear of the police as he a proud m-u-r-d-e-r-e-r seeing so i'm saying him have zero fears him not afraid of police because him is a man where dash with people you see me i say so i'm not fear the police our sources say he told the police that his brother nicholas walters and nigel walters are k-i-l-l-e-r-s seen so now, him alone a dash of people him brother them a do it too right and him tell the police them that boy i may wonder if this man sick in him head or something right those two men are before the courts answering to charges related to a double m-u-r-d-e-r-s in saint elizabeth and westmoreland so i know like tell people because the two brother him tell the police them say a dash of people them dark court right now for dash with two person right in a saint elizabeth and in a westmoreland right as far neil walters himself is a person of interest 
in several crimes in St. Mary. The police um, want to speak with him about the MURDER and robbery of a license machine older Wayne Williams. Williams was SHOT and KILL on January 23, 2021, and his machine stolen. Walters is also a person of interest in the arm robbery of two Chinese nationals three in Three Hills, St. Mary, on August 27, 2023. That incident happened a day before he was picked up by the police in Trelawney. Walters is facing charges of possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. So people, with all of that where this brother has said, I ask you a question. Everybody deserves them day in a court still, you know. You know what I mean? Everybody is innocent until proven guilty. With all where this man say, a man say, Seen him did I go can up the police them right but when him check and see say boy him only have three can in a machine that are the reason why him no bother do it and because the police them approach the vehicle tactical you know what I mean that means say the police them approach the vehicle with extra caution you know what I mean and them ready for if anything happen right so him feel like say if him back off the machine him wouldn't have time for can up the police them so that's why him not do it also him not stop this so. up him say any time again him and them buck up him now go hesitate him a go lego can pan them seeing him not stop this so. up him say as them lock him up him a go get bail him not stop this so neither him say him two brother them them dash your people you see me i say and them day before the court for that so me i go ask you now a question this may sound a way on a field say the police them should have carried me in or on a field say them should have just dirty man and left him out there and say i should a uh, a car note go on between them when you tell me it might sound a way still people but this youth yeah it obvious say him feel like him bigger than the law you know what i mean and it look like say a long time him do him do and him been through the court system so it's just another day for him no matter where him got through him still a go come back by road come do the same thing you see me i say and me feel say you see because of indicum some of them person like them are people yeah this a brother yeah you know what i mean the police them not do them nothing because before indy come you know member before indy come a whole heap of them used to get can you see me no for them are innocent people too you see me i say so indy come necessary because no for them police there them did a do it man job you understand but this youth here, him definitely need to be put on. You know what I mean? Them to try see if them can get some, get the maximum years for him. At least 15 years him I go get because them all him with a machine. You see me I say? But more than love, you know what I mean? Them to try to stretch it to even and 20. Because the machine and the car them were in a machine, them, them, them charge them for the car and them different. You see me I say? So, I want to know, tell me what you think in our comment section. Right? So, we are going to move on to the next. Alright. So, the woman, them say, two female get extradited to the US. Right? And one of them of his scamming and the next of um for dash we are boyfriend. See? So me I go give you an update on the female with dash we are boyfriend, right? Extradited Jamaican woman held an US three million dollar ban after allegedly K I L L I N G 
boyfriend. <coughs> a Jamaican woman was extradited to the US and charges connected to the MURDER of her boyfriend was reportedly ordered held in lieu of US 3 million bail Friday. Judge Maria Del Pilar Gonzalez imposed the ban on 39 year old Ayana Reynolds when the defendant stood before her in handcuffs a, um, in a Bridgeport, Connecticut court. According to the Connecticut Post, Gonzalez justified the Iban and Reynolds by stating that there is a significant risk of flight, which is right because a runway she did runway come at Jamaica to avoid getting caught. Seen, prosecutors had reportedly urged the judge to set a high bail while the defense lawyer had asked the judge for leniency, arguing that Reynolds is the mother of four children and has no prior criminal convictions. Reynolds is set to return to court on October 3rd. A warrant for Reynolds' arrest was issued in January 2022 after the DEATH of her Jamaican born boyfriend in Bridgeport, Andre Brown, 36 who live in Bronx, New York, before moving to Connecticut, was found SHOT to DEATH in a front yard on Mercer Street in Bridgeport. <coughs> According to reports, a resident of the Mercer Street house told police that Brown had come to stay there earlier that day after Reynolds kicked, um, kicked Brown out of the couple's apartment the witness reportedly said that about 10 pm reynolds went to the house demanding to see brown after brown went outside the witness reportedly heard g-u-n-s-h-o-t-s -S, and subsequently saw reynolds speeding away in her mercedes f-c-u-v and brown suffering from g-u-n-s-h-o-t wounds Another witness reportedly told police that he heard the G-U-N-S-H-O-T-S and looked out of the window to see Reynolds driving away. Um, driving away. The claims was reported, reportedly reported by nearby surveillance video. <coughs> Sorry. The claim was reportedly supported by nearby surveillance video. Police reportedly contact Reynolds who told them she was not around. When told that Brown had been SHOT, she reportedly respond, Yes, I heard and hung up the phone. Her Mercedes SUV was later found abandoned in the Bronx according to reports. Reynolds was tracked to Jamaica and was held in July 2023 during a targeted operation at her home in Montego Bay, St. James, where she was staying with her boyfriend. She was extradited to the U.S. earlier this week. So she dashed her one boyfriend, America, run away from Jamaica, find an ex-boyfriend. See? So it looked like said the man did not give her a problem. You know what I mean? Look like said the man was a gallus. Have a bag of gal. Or maybe have a next woman panar. She kick him out of the house. The man take away himself. Cause enough of the time woman kick out a man out of them house, you know. Them they really want the man for going out. Them just want to try hurt the man. So it look like said the man gone about in business and leave a business about she. And she run back at the same man where she kick out of the house. For that she work out, she has said, boy, if me can't have you, nobody enough to have you. I just like how some man stay. You know what I mean? So, R.I.P. to the brother there. You know what I mean? Condolences to the family. And she has to go face the consequences of her action. You know what I mean? Henry Miller, learn. Uh, oh, we missed that. Any minute I say, learn. Ah, uh, so yeah. So let me know what you think in the comment section, people. You know what I mean? And we are gonna move on to the next. So, supermarket worker 
allegedly caught on camera stealing over 200 grand. A charge of simple larceny has been laid against a 19 year old man who was allegedly caught on camera stealing more than 200,000 from the supermarket where he works in Bagwalk St. Catherine. The accused is Michael Barr from Riversdale District St. Catherine. Barr was charged on Friday by the Bagwalk police in the parish. The police report that about 2 p.m. yesterday, monies were discovered missing at the business establishment. The police were summoned and Barr arrested after camera footage suggested he removed the funds from the supermarket which is located along Main Street in rural in the rural township. The money includes US six hundred and seventy eight dollars, Canadian six hundred and eighty dollars and Jamaica um, Jamaican forty seven thousand dollars. The matter is set for mention in the St. Catherine Parish Court on September twenty. So people, you have whole heap of Jamaicans, them have this style yeah. You know what I mean? If you are work at a place where you can't thief nothing, it's not a good place for work. So maybe that the motto there that you to live by. But you have to know that there's consequences for your actions. You know what I mean? So you go thief the money, maybe you don't get to spend all the money. Because right now you have to go think about liar fee and them something there. And 200 grand, grand can't pay a good liar. You know what I mean? So think before you act. And there's so much surveillance cameras in a supermarket. Him no know say him go get caught. <laughs> Jaja. Alright, so this person say she can but she can't hide. Do the crime. Oh, that gone. It gone. Alright, so I go move on people to the next <coughs> So, senior citizen who KILL husband with Amma remanded in custody. So, remember the female, the woman, the elderly woman, where Dashway her husband because him take her name off her will. So, this is an update, right? 73 year old Enid Towson from Cambridge, sorry, Cabbage Valley District in St. Elizabeth who is charged with the M-U-R-D-E-R of her 74-year-old husband, Arthur Towson, was remanded in custody when she appeared in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court on Thursday. Towson, who is being represented by senior attorney Thomas Levine, is booked to return to court next week, Friday. <coughs> the incident occurred in the early hours of Saturday um, Early hours. Of Saturday, September 2, Mr. Stosen reportedly confessed to the crime in a statement given to the police saying she used her armor to strike her husband multiple times. The confession reportedly revealed that the incident arose from a dispute stemming from her late husband omission of her name from his last will and testament. This disagreement, the police say, escalated, resulting in her husband allegedly slapping her. The head of the St. Elizabeth Police Division Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto expressed deep concern over an increase in interpersonal conflicts and domestic violence cases in the parish. So, as I share with you guys, you know what I mean, the man, take your name off of the will. So that's the reason why she dash him with. You know what I mean? For lack of better words because I can't say certain things upon this. You see me? But I feel like say them should have give her bail still. You know what I mean? Although she do a crime, she's an elderly lady. I mean I think say them conditions there where she in her. You know what I mean? She can't manage it. You see? Because them places where people sleep on. When them in a jail or some concrete, you have to spread maybe cardboard or them something up on it. And she all, me don't think she can manage that. Although I don't know how the woman, um, the woman jail them stay. You see me, I say, but I feel like I said them should have give her bail. Maybe Friday when she go court, 
the judge we have look a lean sip on her and give her some bail. You know what I mean? So the f- the, the husband must know why him take off her name. You know what I mean? It must be something. You see it? And she are almost the same age as the husband. So if the husband if 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 the husband no get if the husband no drop out before or if a natural cause and them live for say much much years, you know what I mean? Me no feel like say nobody are gonna come kick her out of the house if the husband pass and where she would have want so. You know what I mean? That a foolish why she do that? You see me I say, no she have to go spend the rest of her couple years them were left behind bars. She I know, boy, me I tell her all old people are going like say boy. You know what I mean? Them can control themselves. Judge Um this person say she can run but she can't hide to um do the crime, serve your time is the children I feel sorry for. For real, you know what I mean? I the picnic them right now. Now I'm gonna have nobody to take care of them and a four kids them say she have and if them the America, me no know if um are the man where she dash way, pick the four of them. Because if them the America and there's no one to take care of them, them are gonna fling them in the system. You know what I mean? Foster home for all of them. You see it? So the youth them I go feel it. She I go feel it too, you know. But the youth them I go feel it also. You see me I say? For real. <coughs> so guys, you know what I mean? Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, you know? And like up the video, please and thanks. Yeah. So moving on. Let me just give on a recap for those who just forward. Let me go on a recap. Alright. So I think the first thing I share are the man where did go in a Kiprich house and thief him jewelry them and thief some Canadian and some US currency. You know what I mean? Them give him two years suspended sentencing instead of for give him six months in a prison. So if him go through the two years without committing another crime, him good. But if between the two years where him get, if him commit another crime, them go give him the six months. Him have to go do the six months plus the other years where him would have get to commit the crime where him would have go commit, right? So that me share. The next thing. Um the next thing seeing a Saint Mary man where the police them pull over in a vehicle. Emma tell the police them say boy he would have dashed them way if him if him did have more than three can in a machine and him also I tell the police them say as him go jail him go get bail him tell them say boy if ever him see them again on a mission you know what I mean like this him now go resist the urge to calm them up him also tell them say boy him brother them a dash with people too you see me I say and them say the two brother we might talk about them the in the court right now for dash with two person in a Saint Elizabeth and Westmoreland. You know what I mean? I mean did I ask the people them say if this man here, if the police them should have carry me in, or them should have put a machine pan him, I'll do him did already have a machine. You know what I mean? Put some can pan him and say boy I shoot out. You see me? Because this man I don't make up his mind say I'm a criminal and him no care. You see it? Because if the police them go hold you with a machine, I deal with them so. I tell them say if you did have more than three can in your machine, you'd have can them up. And I tell them say boy anytime this happen again, he go can them up. So him only put for himself 
pan a listen no? because when him tell them a police yeah, that you think say them a see him again pan the road and give him no chance so let me know nothing people so the next thing Oh, me never share this. Me not share this yet. All right. Me not share that one yet. So the next one. Are the, uh, is a woman. You know what I mean? Let me just did that talk about look a while. She and her boyfriend, her Jamaican boyfriend. You know what I mean? Live a Connecticut. Him used to live in the Bronx, he moved to Connecticut, go live with her. Seeing something go on, she kick him out of the house, him go at a friend's house, go stay. She follow him, go to the friend yard, say she want to talk to him. Him come out to talk to her. Him, um, she call him up, drive away. The police them call her and tell her, say, boy, your boyfriend just get caught up. She say, yes, she hear and hang up the phone. Run away, come to Jamaica, come live with her. Next man, them check her down, wall her, bring her to America back. And right now she dep on three million dollar bond. You see it? So yeah that and the next thing um a man work at a supermarket, him thief two hundred grand, them all on pan him, them catch him on camera, all on pan him, right? The next thing is a seventy three year old woman where you use a hammer and whop up our 74 year old husband and dash him with for lack of better words you know what I mean because him no put her name upon the will him take off her name off of the will you see me and she go court and then remind her she'll go back court I think Friday I come see so make we move on people so the next thing, the man here in picture, they pan the thumbnail. He mean at the white hat. And the woman, with they pan the three million dollar bill, her picture, they pan the thumbnail also. She they over the man in a white hat picture. See? So this man in a white hat, you know. Um, Raytown man charged with M-U-R-D-E-R committed at the height of genocide, dark side, G-A-N-G, W A R. See, so if you live in a Jamaica, even if you live out of Jamaica, from your watch the news or whatever, you must hear about genocide and dark side. Two conflicting sides are war against each other. Be a people get can and drop out already. See, so this is man of them say, him can up, must a couple people or whatever during the heights of the war, right? A man is facing charges from two separate police divisions following incidents in the Kingston East and Kingston Central Division. He has been identified as 31-year-old Andre Robinson of William Street, Raytown, Kingston, 16. The first incident took place at Potter's Row, Kingston, uh, 16, on Friday, January 15, 2021, about 5.30 p.m., a man was reportedly attacked by Robinson who inflicted several STAB wounds to him. The man was taken to hospital where he was treated. Months later on Wednesday, June 9, 2021, Robinson, allegedly armed with a machine, traveled on a motorcycle to Barry Street, Kingston where he SHOT and K-I-L-L-E-D, 55-year-old Nassif Brown. Robinson was apprehended during an operation by alarming from the Kingston Eastern Division. On Thursday, September 7, 2023, he was charged with wounding with intent. He was then transferred to the Kingston Central Division where he was charged with M-U-R-D-E-R, possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition his court dates are being finalized you see me so some of the time people I wonder why them persons here in a conflict with people 
over nothing at all. You see me? Because some of the time I look at things go on like a disagreement and it lead to a person, you know what I mean, getting dash way for lack of better words and it escalate until it reach a point where it can't go back to normal. You see me I say some of the time the man them a war over the area. Them a war over turf. Something where no belongs to them. Something where belongs to the government. You see me I say and this genocide and dark side thing here a long time it a go on people. And enough persons lose them three points. It even spread go foreign. You see me? So I don't know which side this man belong to, but him did that one of the person them we are do things. You know what I mean? And a very rare them all and on somebody when them thing you go on, you know. Because nobody na talk in a them situation there. Because them no one be the next person fi lose them three points. Especially in a the inner city. You know what I mean? You have to watch what you are say. You know what I mean? So, moving on to this thing, yeah, people. A taxi operator get caught up. See? Taxi operator SHOT while being robbed, ammunition seized. A St. Catherine taxi operator is nursing GUNSHOT wound after two men attempt to rob him along Bay Farm Road in Kingston 11 on Friday. Reports from the Olympic Gardens police are that about 12 10 p.m. Two men boarded a taxi posing as customers when they pulled a machine and attempted to rob the taxi operator. A struggling sue and the operator was SHOT in his left shoulder. He lost control of the vehicle and collided into another. Both men ran from the vehicle, leaving behind a magazine containing 8 9 mm rounds of ammunition. The police were alerted and after responding, uh, the ammunition was handed over to the police and the taxi operator was taken to hospital. Investigations are ongoing. See? So, greatest thing, you know what I mean? The taxi driver, him still about, you know what I mean? That are the greatest thing. You see me I say? So guys, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, click the top bell icon to get notified whenever anything new is on the channel. Yeah, and press the like button, please and thanks. If you're up on a phone, click on the X and then press the like button. So right, just so me I end the live stream, people. Thanks for checking in. You know what I mean? Bless up on yourself until me do another live stream. Bless up.